we've talked about the importance of home inspections. To go through the, the, what that process looks like, we have Jake Schneider with Foundation Property Inspections with us today to go through what that process looks like. Bob, well, thanks for having me. Uh, it's, a, it's an honor to be here. Um, as far as uh, the process of a home inspection, you know, once my client gets, gets to the property, um, you know, we'll go over the, the services they elected. Typically, people get a radon test uh, and a pest inspection along with the home inspection and uh, explain to them what radon is, uh, you know, how it can affect their health and, and the importance of it. Um, in the state of Pennsylvania, if anything over four PICO carries, we have to recommend mitigation. Okay. As far as the pest, uh, it, we're looking for wood destroying insects. So carpenter ants, carpenter bees, termites, anything that can cause uh, some type of damage to the home. And then as far as the, the home inspection, um, you know, we check everything from the uh, structure of the house um, to, to all the major components. We'll get up into the attic, check the roof structure, insulation, ventilation, uh, electrical, we open the panels, check, check every single outlet. Um, heating and cooling, obviously we'll make sure they're installed and functioning correctly. Uh, doors, windows, uh, we operate a mall as far as plumbing. Uh, we run a good bit of water to check for any leaks, you know, check the longevity of the hot water tank, uh, the main shut off, and we locate all the important aspects of the home to the client. Gotcha. Um, so you said roof. Now, do you actually physically inspect the roof on your home inspections? Yes. If, if we can get up onto the roof, uh, we'll physically get onto the roof, uh, walk it, uh, check all the flashings, chimneys, gutters, anything that's up, up top. Um, if it's a roof that's too steep to, to walk on or it's a, you know, uh, too high to access with, with a ladder, we have drones so we can uh, take video footage uh, as well as the, the quality of the drone, the pictures is, is pretty, pretty good. So we can zoom in and... You know, that's a huge thing because I hear other home inspectors out there that don't offer that service. They say, oh, you know, you'll have to contact somebody else to do the roof. And, mm -hmm. you know, I always talk to my clients and talk to them about the bones of the property and use this touch base on a lot of them, mm -hmm. the roof, the foundation, everything that you do. And a roof being a, a major component Sure. Along with the home inspection. Yeah, I mean, years ago we didn't have that that capability. Now with the with the drones, we we can see everything. Even something like a chimney cap. There's some roofs that you get on top of, and you can't actually see the top of the chimney. So it gives that gives us that that ability and that advantage. Right. Now the other thing, um, as far as you know, a big popular test now is the sore camera test. Can you oh, talk a little bit about yeah. that? Very important. Um, yeah, so the only, the only way you are going to be able to see the condition of a, a sewer lateral, which is the exterior portion of the home, and even under the home, is to do a, a sewer camera inspection. And, and we contract out with uh, a licensed plumber to do all our sewer camera inspections. Um, it, it's, it's definitely beneficial to have someone that does that time and time again um, to do that test. But, multiple times, especially with older homes, the cast iron pipe, terracotta, it does crack and decay over time. Um, the, the hubs on the terracotta pipe come loose, uh, root infiltration, uh, just typical blocks from things that people put down there that they shouldn't. Um, so it, <laughs> That doesn't happen. You know, over time. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Uh, but it, yeah, I mean, it's, I personally been through it when I bought my the house I live in today before I was in this industry. Gotcha. Cost me a good bit of money to replace mine, so. No, is that something they have to do separately or if they ha have you do the other person home inspection, is that something they can partner with you on? Absolutely, so we will set that up for them. So That's awesome. The the plumber will come at the same time within the, the first hour of the home inspection and they can actually watch them do it. Um, and once it's completed, they will get a uh, full video, the plumber narrates on it, um, as well as a written report. So they, they have as much knowledge as they need to whenever Absolutely. they're there. So, and the convenience of that too is, is that it's all taken care of at one time. All at one time. You know, a lot of home inspectors, they do the home inspection and you have to schedule the plumber to go out, you know. So now you just do it one time yep. and you're done. That's awesome, Jake. Yeah, and we again, we hold all those, the, the radon license, the, the pest license, and those are also sometimes um, things that you have to kind of coordinate on your own um, with other companies. Yeah, and, and maybe a little clarity too. We talk about the sort camera, so, you know, other things that are required like in um, 
municipalities is a dye test. So that's something completely different than the sore camera test. Very you know, different, but it can be, um, some, some people do think it's the same thing, which is very different. Yeah. So uh, there are some municipalities that, that do it in-house. So you always want to check with, with the local municipality, but they only do the exterior. And there's often times where there's problems on the interior that the, the municipalities don't, they don't check. Mm -hmm. Say, Jake, question about when you do home inspections. Sure. When the buyers are there, mm -hmm. how beneficial is it for them to be there during the inspection versus, hey, just send me the report and, yeah, and that's so fine? Yeah, we, so we encourage all of our clients to attend a home inspection, um, especially if, if there's a client that's a first time home buyer or, you know, a lot of people aren't real home savvy. So it's also a learning experience. You can learn a lot about the home itself, the, the major components, uh, why things do what they do and where they're at. So, and then, um, you know, we produce a, about a 45 page report once it's all complete. So it is, there's a lot of information in there and it, and it can be uh, overwhelming. But when you're there and I can walk you through the process and explain everything to you, it makes it enjoyable and, and obviously it's, you know, they get a, an understanding of the home as well. They know what they're buying then. Absolutely. And it makes my job easier too when we have to reply back to the seller of issues in the property. Mm -hmm. Once the, the buyer has a clear understanding of what, the, what you found, it makes it so much easier and they can make an intelligent decision on what's important to them based off the information you provided to them. Absolutely. And that's huge. Absolutely. And it can be, the inspection process can be a scary part of the, the, uh, the home buying process. And, you know, we, we like to bring the, the clients in and, and make them feel comfortable. Everything can be fixed. Um, you know, there are certain issues that are bigger than others, but, but most of the time, everything, you can work through everything um, one way or another. And I think that's key too, is the, the client feeling comfortable with you walking through it. You mm -hmm. know, you don't try to scare them into every little detail, but you point out the major things that, it, that could cost some money down the road for them. And they're able to ask me any questions. You know, we encourage questions. And that's awesome, yeah. yeah. You know, and then, you know, people request home warranties. You know, how important do you think like a home warranty and then a home inspection tying those two together? Because you do check the appliances, correct? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, yeah I mean, any type of, um, home warranty or you know, secondary coverage is great. I, I know I've used mine. I've, I've actually renewed mine for 15 years <laughs> since I bought my home. So, and it's, you know, I've benefited from it. And it probably makes it easier if the client would have a claim within a short period of time after taking home ownership, they can go back to your inspection report and see everything was operational and functional. Correct. So they don't think that they're trying to get over on the home Correct. warranty and then either. Yeah. And a lot of times with the home warranty, they, they have to be able to prove that it, it was functional at the time of inspection. And, uh, another key component and reason to have a home inspection. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, uh, talk a little bit about the radon. So is that done the same day or what's like, how, how is that done, the, the radon? So uh, in, in a real estate transaction, um, radon, we, it's called a short-term radon test. So a short-term test can run anywhere from uh, 48 hours up to 90 days. Anything over 90 days is considered a long-term test. T typically with a real estate transaction, you're, you're looking at a seven to 15 day window. It used to be 15 and nowadays it seems like it's more 10 or yeah. seven, but yeah. So typically we set the, in, the radon test prior to the home inspection. Okay. Um, that way, uh, you know, on the day of the inspection, uh, we get through the inspection and, and all the reports are done the same day. So you, you get the, the results of the radon test as well. So minimum 48 hours, um, but we try and let it sit for at least three days. Gotcha. Yeah. So, you know, the thing you leave with after a home inspection is a 45 day or 45 page report card mm -hmm. on that property. Correct. So you have, you can make an intelligent decision whether you want to move forward or if you don't want to move forward with the, the home purchase then. That is correct. Uh, question for you. Yes, sir. So after these inspection reports come in, how often do you see a deal get broken up where because of the inspection report something comes that came as a surprise that wasn't maybe on the sales disclosure how often do you see that and i would assume in the long run it's better for the client for them to walk away if they see something that's 
if there's a major problem with the home inspection, that that can't be fixed by the sellers. A excellent question, RJ. Um, again, as we touch base on with my experience of a contractor, we hope we catch it prior to the home inspection, but sometimes that's not always the, the perfect scenario. So once that home inspection process takes place and there would be issues identified, the buyer has the option to have those issues repaired. And it's what they call a negotiation period. So typically, as Jake talked about, it's like a 15 day period that we're in the negotiations. And the report card on the property that Jake is gonna to supply to client, we're gonna look it over together and we're gonna uh, come up with what is important to that buyer and key and pinpoint the key components of it. Not nitpick every little thing that comes up on it, but the major things that can cause major repair or major costs. And then from my experience, we can actually help maybe even designate some costs that will go along with the repairs and try to hold it together. I mean, the home inspection is not to deter the, the home purchase. It's helped to educate the buyer on what they're buying and not deter them from buying it. So I think everybody's best interest is to try to get through the process and whether that be to have the repairs made. But that gives us an opportunity after that inspection report to send what they call RJ, a buyer reply to inspections. And that's done within typically 15 days. We'll sit down and we'll, we'll send to the seller's agent what the buyer is requesting to have repaired based off the information that Jake supplied them. So then it could either be, you know, uh, a cash settlement or a bigger discount, um, a reduction in price, um, or just to do the repairs that are identified and then try to keep it together. Yeah. I just add to that too, RJ, some, some homes, uh, you know, like, like an estate or, um, you know, if someone's parents have passed, they don't know much about the house. So there's, there's nothing on the disclosure. So it, you know, we look at it as an, as an educational thing too. Absolutely. I mean, I, I can speak from experience. Uh, the home inspection is huge when it comes to running home insurance. It's, uh, it's huge. There's, I tell people when we get on a call to work out quotes, hey, please have the, the sales disclosure, please have the home inspection. Because that home inspection, we oftentimes can just search through that. And Correct. Yeah. They're, even if it's not an estate sale, if, if it's you know, owner occupied or they're the sellers are, are selling it that's lived there for years, there's gonna be stuff on the sales, dis that's not on the sales disclosure, that is on the home inspection, of course. And we're gonna refer to that for home insurance and with home insurance companies, I mean, I represent over 25 different ones and they're all looking for something different. Right. And that home inspection report usually has a lot of that information that we need. And, right. So it's really crucial. Um, buyers often ask us, hey, my, my insurance uh, company asked me to, to get, get an age on the roof or mm -hmm. what type of uh, electrical system, is it breakers, is it fuses, what type of plumbing's in the house? And, and we're, we're happy to, assist them and, and with all those questions. Yeah, that's, that's why I, I encourage my my folks when I'm talking on, I, I try to talk to them before the inspection and give sure. you a list of questions. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, they're there. Absolutely. And one other point that you ask about too is like on the seller's disclosures. Yeah, and again, we, we touched base briefly on that before that whenever a buyer is looking to put an offer in on a property, the one thing they do get is a seller's disclosure. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it may be something the seller forgot or just, you know, didn't remember or something like that. A lot of times it's not uh, that they're trying to hide anything, but they just forgot. So, you know, mm -hmm. the home inspection does cover that and it helps that buyer to understand that. So they know the complete report card on that property mm -hmm. and not just what a seller has uh, stated with the property, but also as an individual um, that's doing the home inspection. And Bob, we also, um, you know, when you're talking about sellers not being aware of what 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 kind of is going on with their own home we also do a lot of uh, pre-sale inspections so again uh, you know the a child selling a home for their parent or you know whatever it may be we go in and do a home inspection so they're a able to fill out that disclosure uh, accurate that that's prevents a, a lot of yes. things yes absolutely and it actually helps them be able to maybe uh, get the price that they're asking for because those things are already disclosed and they have somebody else that's done a report on the property. You know, again, a report card on the property. It's a good selling tool. Uh, absolutely. Very uh, proactive. 